I need you to get your life together. Are you just gonna be here? <laughs> okay. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Melissa Michelle X Ulta Beauty Collection collab. Why was that so hard for me to say? Before I even start this video, unacceptable, right? I swear to God, I just refilled that water like three days ago and it's already ugly again. Who has time for real flowers? I'm about to go buy fake flowers because I don't have time to be refilling the water every other day. Okay, I just don't have time for it and I refuse to make time for it. So we're gonna ignore that. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. If you guys don't know who she is, um, Melissa Michelle is Love Melissa Michelle on YouTube and Instagram. I've been following her since the beginning of time. I love her like with all of my heart and soul. She's just so happy and funny and she just seems so sweet. I love her. I'm so excited for this collab and congrats girl. So this I believe is her second collab with Ulta. She did come out with a palette I want to say. I'm not sure what was in the first collab. I didn't purchase the first collab. I saw that she came out with this brand new collection and it is an eyeshadow palette, a blush and highlight palette, some lip colors, and then a set of lashes. So I didn't buy everything from the entire collection. I did get the Bring on the Glam eyeshadow palette and I have the cheek and highlighting palette and I got the Dainty Lipstick and Delicate Lip Liner. There was another lip set. It was more berry tones. I was so close to getting that because when I saw this in her video, I was like, oh, it's pink. We all know how I feel about pink. I don't like it. I've made that very clear. I am not a pink girl, but I just feel like I wanted to just kind of step out of my comfort zone. I wanted to get the berry lip set, but I didn't get it because that's just what I gravitate towards. Like I always reach for berries instead of pink. So I was like, let me go ahead and get the pink. Um, it looked really pretty and actually I do actually like it a lot surprisingly not surprisingly that I didn't think I wasn't gonna like it because it's her collab just surprisingly because it's pink and I just fucking hate pink okay I don't like pink I do like this lip though I know y'all are gonna be like you say you don't like pink in every video why did you buy the pink set I wanted to get it because I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone okay okay I did not get the lashes um, I just, I like a really thick, dramatic lash and they looked a little more wispy for me. They look pretty, just didn't purchase them because they're not my style. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about this collab. So I've used it a couple of times. I think this is the third time that I've used it today. And I think I know how I feel, okay? So let's talk about the palette first. The palette is the Bring on the Glam eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. It's really, really, really pretty. This palette just spoke to me because number one, there's glitter. Who doesn't love glitter? Come on. But number two, I am just here for the purpley mauve shades. I love mauve. I love rosy colors. I love like purpley colors. I really wanted to purchase it and it was such an affordable price. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Like, I'm just going to buy it. So um, first, let's talk about the palette. It retails for $20. It comes with five matte eyeshadows, two shimmer eyeshadows, two metallic eyeshadows, and three creamy glitters. And then it comes with the uh, creamy glitter foam tip applicator and the glitter liquid liner. I've tested out every single shadow except for the green one. That's the only one I haven't tried. So let's just go ahead and talk about the shadows. I'll go ahead and insert swatches at some point in this video so you guys can see um, what everything looks swatched out. Keep in mind swatches don't always mean anything. You can have the most beautiful swatch shadow and it can blend like garbage so just keep that in mind but I'll go ahead and insert them so you can kind of see the uh, color selection that you're getting now when I first got this palette I was kind of wishing that there were more browns in it that was like my first initial reaction was I wish there were more browns I wish there were more warm tone shades so I can go in and you know maybe if I want to deepen the crease or if I want something a little more dramatic I have that brown warm transition shade to go in with but when I kind of looked at it, I was like, you know what, I, I see what she was doing here. She was going for the purple, the rosy tones, because you do only get one uh, matte brown. After I played with it a little bit more, I really like wasn't mad at it at all, because I was like, it kind of makes sense that she didn't put too much browns, because she puts a nice selection of the uh, rosy, mauve tones to go in 
as a transition shade since we have the majority of the shades, especially the matte shades, the transitions are more uh, purpley. I'm assuming that's what she was going for. So we have this one right here. This one is, I think it's called Rotorman. Yeah, this is called Rotorman. Now in the pan, this looks kind of like a creamy matte shade. This has a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. Like I went in and tried to highlight my brow bone with this and it just came off a little too pink for me. I wouldn't use this on me personally to uh, highlight my brow bone or inner corner or even set my eyeshadow primer because it has like that pinkish hue and I'm just not a fan of that. This is a pretty color but keep in mind it does have kind of like that pinkish hue. This one right here, 100%, this has a little bit of a sheen to it and you'll see it in the swatches. I didn't think I was gonna like it because it did have a little bit of that sheen but I like the way that it actually turned out. You have this one down here, hey guys, it's kind of like a rose gold champagne color. I think in her video she said that this was her favorite shade to go in and highlight the inner corner and brow bone. It's a little too dark for that. I tried to highlight my brow bone with it and it was just too dark. I need something really light and icy, um, not only because of my skin tone but because that's just what I like. So I did highlight the brow bone and the inner corner with it. I tried it two times and I just didn't like it. It was a little too dark for that. This is something I'd probably just use on my lid if I just want like a nice champagne color all over the lid. This color right here, Boo Bear, this is the only brown you're gonna get in the palette. Um, it looks kind of light in the pan. When you actually go in and buff it in the crease, it's pretty dark compared to what it looks like in the pan. I was thinking that I wish there was just a little bit of a darker brown shade, but this is actually pretty deep of a shade. I'm glad there's at least one brown in there because I feel like purples and browns just go so well together that you just need a brown. You know what I mean? However, I will say this shade just came off a little bit patchy. I really had to kind of work to blend it into the crease. I noticed it on both of my eyes, but then also as I ran it on my lower lash line, I noticed it was just a little patchy. It wasn't the worst, but I wish it was a little more smooth because it was a little bit harder to blend. I had to work a little extra hard to blend this brown shadow out. This was another thing I didn't really like about this palette. This shade right here is too similar to this one. When you go in and blend it into the crease, they are just too similar, I think. Like, they honestly almost look like the same exact shades. Except this has that little bit of sheen that I talked about earlier. The first time that I used this palette, I used this one as the transition, and then I went in and buffed this into the crease to deepen it. And when it was all said and done, they honestly just look like the same exact shade. Like, I didn't really see a difference, so I wish these were, there was just a little bit more of a difference in these two. They're both pretty shades. Like, they blend out really nicely, but they're just too similar. I think they could have just went a little bit lighter on this shade right here and I think it would have been good. This one right here is really pretty. It's a matte purple shade. I like this one a lot. I've used this every single time I've tried this palette so far to deepen the crease and I really like it. It blends out really nicely. Besties right here is like a true purple shimmer shade. This is also very pretty. Twinsies, this is kind of like a satin shimmer shade. This is also a really pretty color. I like this a lot. Um, this one right here, Dude, it's like a deeper purpley shimmer. So I'm sitting here editing my footage and I realized that I lost parts of my video. I don't know what the hell happened, but y'all, I'm going to tell you sometimes me and technology, we just don't get along. Like I know I filmed it. Why isn't on my SD card, you know? So I'm missing the end of the palette where I talked about the three glitters, the glitter liner, and I think the very top right purpley brown shimmer shade. So let me just go ahead and very quickly just kind of reiterate what I said because I promise I filmed it. I don't know what happened to it. I was like, only me would this happen to? Somebody who is not even like that tech savvy. I barely know how to film and edit videos as it is. Why do I have to lose my footage that I worked so hard on? And plus I look cute as fuck when I filmed that video and now I look ratchet like the baby hairs are out to play. Anyways, in my video where I ended off was that last deepest shimmer shade, just kind of like a purpley brown shade and I used it on the outer V of my eye. Um, I also wanted to mention the look that I did because of course I already talked about it but I don't have the footage anymore. Lord even knows what happened to that footage y'all. I'm gonna make the best out of a bad situation. So right here I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I used 
um, to do this whole look that I have going on. I just went in with Boo Bear in the crease. I used that as my transition shade. I went in with Florida to deepen the crease a little bit more and then a little bit of Oi right in that very crease of my eye just to make it a little more deep, a little more sultry. And then for the outer V, I went in with Dude. I took Manifest with my finger in the very center of my lid and just pressed it on my lid. I took Bro and used it in the very inner corner of my lid. I took Boo Bear and ran it on the lower lash line and then I just took a little bit of Oi with a flat brush just to make it a little more defined. So... Yeah, I don't know what happened to that footage, but I want to very quickly just go ahead and talk about the last three shades. Manifest was just a very pretty coppery glitter shade. Um, it really reminded me of this one NYX glitter. I think it's called Bronze from NYX. It's the loose uh, face and body glitter, but this one was in a pressed form, so it's literally just the loose glitter pressed into the pan. It looked so beautiful. I found that it didn't really work with the applicator that came in the palette. I tried to use it. I didn't like it. I'm probably never going to use that brush again, but I just took my finger and it went on super nicely. Surprisingly, I found that I didn't have to use a glitter glue. Usually, I always have to go in with a glitter glue with any type of glitter. Even the Stila Magnificent Metals, I find that they just get all over my face. These lasted all day with no glitter glue and it looked so gorgeous. I just love the way that it looked and I love that I can just take my pinky and just swipe it on there real quick and it looks good. Bro is kind of like a kind of like a thicker, chunkier glitter. It reminds me of those, like those glitters, the craft glitters that are kind of like that leafy glitter. I did the same thing. I just went ahead and went in with my finger. I find that glitters just work best with the finger, but yeah, it just went on so nicely. I just press it on and it stayed right there. Chris Chris, which is the green shade in the palette, is the only one that I actually didn't get to use. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. It looks really pretty. It's super smooth and pigmented just like the other shimmers. I will say though, the color is so pretty and I love that there is that pop of color, but just to be 100% honest, I'm kind of confused with why there's that one green with a mixture of all these different purples and rosy tones. I feel like the everyday person who like maybe is just just gonna buy this one palette or maybe they don't have a lot of palettes um, to me it's just like I would never go in with purple transitions and then a green on the lid you know what I mean I kind of wish she put something a little bit different like maybe another gold shade or maybe like a really cool purple glitter I would have loved to see that just knowing that the whole theme of the palette is kind of like purpley and rosy golds and you know just more like pinky purples to me the green is just a little bit random like even on the lower lash line if I did this really cool purple eye look on the lower lash line like I would never go in with green like to me green and purple just don't go together you know it is what it is but yeah I just wanted to go ahead and mention that very quickly and then I want to talk about the cheek palette you'll see in the little mini tutorial that I did I went in with Mahal and then I went in with Maganda on the other side of my cheek they're both so so pigmented the blushes are gorgeous I absolutely love them Mahal is like a deeper rosy shade and then Maganda is more of like a soft pinky shade. Surprisingly, I actually like Maganda a little bit more even though it's more pinky. Mahal is very intense. You'll see, I'll insert the clip right here. You'll see when I went in with Maganda, I went in way too heavy. You want to go in with a light hand with these. They're super, super pigmented. I had to go in and like really buff it out because I just packed it on way too much. So yeah, they're super pigmented. They're really, really pretty. I absolutely love the blushes and these are my tones. The highlights, um, Lons is more of like a pinky iridescent and then bubs is more of like a gold iridescent um they're not really like super intense like wet looking highlights they're more of like that kind of like a sheen on the cheeks but they definitely have an iridescence to them um they're pretty but they're just not my favorite i found that i had a really hard time using them with a fan brush and i think that she mentioned that they apply better with a like a more stiff brush i just don't like to apply my highlight like that and i just don't really like that they're an iridescent like i'm not a fan of an iridescent highlight. Bubs, the gold one, reminds me a lot of the Physician Formula Champagne highlight. If you guys have used that, you know what I'm talking about, where it just kind of has like an iridescence to it. It's definitely not like a wet type of highlight, you know? It looked really pretty. There was nothing wrong with it. The blush and the highlight both lasted all day for me. Just for me, I like a really wet, intense, like, I want my cheeks to look juicy 
wet and glistening you know what I mean so if you like a really sheeny iridescent type of highlight like kind of like the the Anastasia glow kit like the Aurora one I think where it's kind of like that iridescence if you're into those you will like these but for me I don't see myself using the highlights again just because it's not my style I just like a little something more intense and a little more unnatural looking you know if that makes sense but the blushes oh my god they're exceptional and then this palette retails for $15 so let's go ahead and get on with the rest of the video I think I'm talking about lips right now so we'll just go ahead and move on with the rest of of the program. Okay, so let's just go ahead and move on to the lip duo. This is the last thing that I have, and I got the matte lipstick in Dainty, and then the delicate matte lip liner. So let's talk about the lip liner. I actually really like the lip liner a lot. So surprisingly, for somebody who doesn't really care for lip liners, I find that I really like this a lot. It's a very, very creamy lip liner. It reminds me of the Urban Decay lip liners. If you guys are familiar with those where it's very creamy, I can see myself going through this so quickly because I've only used it two or three times and I've already sharpened it um, both times that I've had to use it because it's very creamy. However, it does stay on the lips really nicely. It looks really pretty. This color is beautiful. It's like a rosy mauve color. So up my alley. And then for the lipstick, I love the packaging. First of all, I think it's so cute with these two products. You don't want to go in and press really hard because they are so creamy. You kind of just want to go in with a very light hand and just kind of dab it on your lips. It's so creamy to the point that when I went in, I, I was a little rough with it. I'm just rough in general with my products, but I found that I kind of like broke it off a little bit. I did the same thing with the lip liner. So be a little more gentle with these because they are so creamy um, but yeah the lipstick comes in this type of packaging it just twists up it's like a really nice warm pink so it's very flattering surprisingly I do like the pink I didn't think I was gonna like it as soon as I put it on I was like who am I this looks really good and I like it a lot these are very very long lasting I actually tried this for the first time and I went and got wings that night and you know my fat ass ate like 20 wings, I was drinking my beer, I was just living up the life that night, and my lipstick was still on at the end of the day, and I got so many compliments on it. However, make sure your lips are heavily moisturized because I made the mistake of not moisturizing my lips at all. They were a little chapped. Actually, they were a lot chapped because my lips are always crusty as fuck, but when I put this on, my lips were really chapped. It's matte, so it is gonna catch in those cracks. Also, with the lipstick, I feel like you have to go in and apply more than once because it kind of to me went on a little bit sheer the first time I applied it um, I found that it just didn't want to stick to the very center of my lips but when I went in with a second coat it looked just fine it's super super comfortable if you're not into matte lip products because they're too drying it looks matte but it's just so comfortable I really like this a lot I think it's so pretty I like that these two are different because I think in the berry one she said they were the same exact shade if I go in with a lip liner and I'm gonna bother with it I kind of want to see that definition you know with the lip liner so I like that the the lip liner is a little bit deeper than the lipstick and they're a little bit off tone because then you can kind of go in and define your lips and if you kind of like that two-tone definition you can definitely do that with this set and I believe this retails for $12.50 I think I said that already but I think this is around 12 bucks so essentially it's like six dollars a piece you get the two together and I like it a lot surprisingly I really did not think I was gonna like it the first thing I said when I got this in the mail and opened up the lipstick, I was like, why did I get this? I'm not gonna like it, and I actually do like it. Also, I do wanna mention, Ulta has a deal right now where if you buy two Ulta products, you get one free. So I actually got the lip set for free. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys plan on checking out anything from this collection if you guys are planning on purchasing anything and if you guys have purchased the lashes or the other lip set the berry one that i didn't get let me know if you like it and if i should just go ahead and pick it up because i'm a sucker for makeup and beauty products i'm probably gonna end up getting it anyways because i really like the formula of the lip products i love good berry lip especially like summer's gonna be over before we know it and we're gonna be a fall girl i'm gonna need some new berry lips even though i have 18 million berry lip products i still need more you know make sure you subscribe before you go hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos give me a big old thumbs up and i will see you in my next one bye